that's heavy. Mm -hmm. That looks good, right? Disrespectful. Yes, that was a little bit lower. That's very good. Oh, I, I think you need to push it down a bit. You should put the Jeep there. Yeah, it's a four-wheel drive, so you gotta put it like it's climbing up the tree. Can you wrap that light, that top light? Can you wrap it around the back of it? <laughs> no. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I'll do it. Hello guys and welcome back welcome to my booktube channel um if you see a little bit of this you're on my blinds so for this video i'm just gonna be decorating cleaning my room and reading window shopping by tessa bailey i'm filming the intro after the fact because um i thought i was gonna read a bunch of books for this video but i just decided on doing the one just so i could like get it out before christmas because i don't want to post this when christmas is over so i just thought i would do that so let's go into the video I'm about to sneeze from all the dust, like... Hey guys, I actually have a book that I bought, so I'm gonna open it for you guys. Here it is. Oh my gosh. I really like the color. That's beautiful. I think this would fit like the other one, cause the other, all three of the other ones do not fit. So this will fit one of them. So I'm gonna clean it off and then put it with my other books. I think this is book three. I think it's book three. Yeah. If you haven't read the series. I'd recommend.
have I done anything that serious? No. I'm about halfway done with the book and I've decorated like quite a bit actually, but I put those two paintings up and then I gotta make my trees. I have that tree and that tree. I can't really do anything with the big one yet because we cannot find the bottom. Therefore, it cannot stand up. So yeah, but I'm gonna make the small one and I'm gonna put it over there, like right over there like I did last year. I really liked that, so. I'm just mad I can't put my tree up. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Maybe I can make like a makeshift folder. I'll see if I can do that. took two empty boxes there's one inside that i poked like i cut holes in the top and then stuck the tree through the first time when i only used one box it did not stay up um the second time it stayed but i haven't touched it i do not know how stable that is and i don't want to touch it because i'm worried it's gonna fall it, the tree looks absolutely insane right now like whoa okay it seems about as stable as it usually is with the thing on the bottom my tree's definitely struggling okay it's like leaning against the wall but we're gonna take what we can get okay looks horrible actually <laughs> what the heck am i talking about that was true but we're gonna go with it guys can you tell how hot i am like i'm literally burning to death anyway i i can't i don't know where my book ornaments are that's a problem because this can't be my tree without the book ornaments so we gotta find them but so far this is the tree it's a very thin tree but i don't really care like i really like how it looks that looks horrible like i need to fix that that thing is just jumping out when i tell you i found it immediately like immediately so we have Zodiac Academy, book three specifically. Put it up there. We have The Cruel Prince. Put that there. Legend Born. There we go. The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing. I'm gonna spread them out. I don't wanna put them all next to each other, so even if it's the same series. That's not where I wanted to put it. And then A Number in the Ashes, which I need to finish that series. Like, that's insane that I have not finished it yet. Okay. Those are definitely my favorite ornaments, and it definitely brings the tree together. So, I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a gonna write. I'm gonna do an update next to the tree of window shopping. Yeah, it's certainly a book. The characters are kind of flat. They're not really favorite. Sorry, I'm like putting my hand here because I will fall on the tree if I don't. The characters are kind of flat. The romance is okay, kind of. I don't really like, like, I don't know. It's kind of boring, but it's also, it's seven hour audiobook. Like the book is pretty short. So I guess it makes sense that not a lot is happening, but most of the book just takes place in their business. Like it makes sense. Like that was the setup of the book. Like it makes sense that it takes place there, but it's like, give a little variety. Like they went to like a restaurant. What else? Like literally nothing else. It's just their business. It's not gonna be a favorite guys. It's not gonna be a favorite. I finished window shopping a couple hours ago. I was doing homework while I was finishing the end, so I didn't actually come back and update, and I took a shower, obviously. I did finish the end, and ultimately I gave it two stars. It was... Yeah, it was not great, guys. It really wasn't. It's weird that I read this because now I'm putting it together. The fact that I've never actually liked a Tessa Bailey book in my life and I've read like six of them and I like just now in this exact instant put it together. The fact that I actually have never liked a book by her. I think I just need to stop reading her books. Anyway, actually about the book, there were some lines specifically that the male character would say that made me cringe violently. My soul leapt out of my body and cringed. And it was like, like I had to stop what I was doing and like, you know, I can't even, yeah, it was bad. The male narrator doing the female voice was also like a little off. Obviously that's not really the fault of the book. That's just like the narration, but I was listening to the audiobook, the audiobook so it like, it did affect me a little bit. That doesn't like make my rating go down. Like it was kind of everything together that made it 
a two. I do feel like if you want a really quick Christmas read, but like if you want a really good romance that has Christmas involved, I would not recommend. I haven't even really read many Christmas books or like romance books for Christmas specifically, but I just know this is not the best one. There's gotta be something else that's better. The characters were pretty flat. The actual storyline, I think the best part of the book, the thing that was like the best, like the most well done was like her prison story, like how she got out and how she was trying to redeem herself because she felt like she didn't deserve to be with someone that was all like his he his whole thing was that he's like mr goody two shoes or whatever so he she didn't feel like she could be with him because he, she had gone to prison and she also had like a complicated relationship with her best friend like her best friend was like really not a good friend to her so she had to like deal with that throughout the book so i feel like the things other than the romance and the main plot were better than the actual romance but um yeah like this will, like I will forget in like in the next couple of days, I will forget that I read this and that's not a good thing. <laughs> if you really love Tessa Bailey, you would probably like this because it's, I mean, I consistently didn't like it because I don't like Tessa Bailey. So I would assume it's similar enough to her other books that I also don't like, but yeah, anyway. So I don't know if I'm gonna end the video here or if I'm actually gonna read the other two books because it depends on how long this video is. But if this is the end and I decide not to read the other two, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a fantastic December with all Christmassy things if you celebrate Christmas. And I mean, I hopefully will be making another video. So hopefully this won't be the end of the December celebration, but it might be. Let's be serious. I will see you next video.